name is Charles Williams. I'm the co-founder and president of Electronic Health Network, a company that we found uh, back in 2007, and I call us the longest startup. All right. I can, all right. Electronic Health Network, we, what we have is there's an issue going on. Uh, the problem is healthcare today is now becoming digitized, but the problem is, is that we're going from a paper-based system to a PDF system, and a PDF system don't necessarily solve the problem of digitizing records. So what we have to do is gather that record beyond PDF so that we can get access to that data. Unfortunately, today, 80% of supporting clinical documentation is still in PDF, and the same problem is happening in developing countries. Is that moving? Okay. What Electronic Health Network does is enable access to clinical data and operations to improve health outcomes globally. And I'm going to explain that in a second. Our team consists of, of myself, my partner, Adderley, who has 12 years in health interoperability. Uh, I come out of the financial payment industry, and my partner, uh, Hal, uh, has 10 plus years in healthcare management. Our approach is unique because it's an enablement platform, it's vendor agnostic. In other words, no matter what type of application that you have, our, our technology, the Mint platform, will connect to your system, and you would, uh, how can I say, uh, you don't have to change your application or your existing system in order to utilize the MIT platform. The MIT platform enables various lines of business and healthcare to operate efficiently. It shortens the time for data access, it adds contents to the data, and delivers that data in clinical workflow. This is why it's working. One of the things that we've seen is that it has, we have seen a reduction in 40, by 40% 40 in healthcare readmissions. We've also seen over 50% of removal of paper-based and PDF transactions to full digitized transactions. And right now, we're already connected with 30 leading re medical records vendors and applications. We have to act now. Right now, Electronic Health Network is closing on an opportunity in Africa worth $73 million this quarter. And in Africa, the problem we have is that chronic disease accounts for over 56% of deaths in 2015, and it will rise if we don't do anything about it. And, however, companies like Boeing are establishing offices in Kenya and South Africa. Why? Because of limited competition, people and resources. So countries in Africa are making themselves attractive for corporations and foreign investment. And Electronic Health Network plays a role in that. Now, together, we are scaling our technology and, and our business model, and we've been awarded, again, $73 million, and we're closing this quarter. Uh, now, I have to say this. I need your help because we're a small company and we're looking for data innova uh, innovators, we're looking for technology companies to help us as we expand globally, and we need your help today. So thank you for this opportunity and I appreciate it.